Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your weekly reading for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the week of, and there you are, my friend, <laughs> King of Pentacles. That is you in your freaking energy. Male or female does not matter, but this is giving me you feeling more like yourself this week. As I was saying, this is for the week of April 15th through the 21st, but of course, it's a timeless reading. I only date them because that's the week I'm recording them for. But anytime you catch this is when it will resonate with you. So let's tap into the rest of your energy for the week ahead. If you're not following me over on Instagram, I am at Virgo Angel Tarot, where I do post additional content as well as... Um, Letting you know where I'm at if I do in-person readings at events or when I open up my calendar. Wowee. Okay. <laughs> I've never said that. That's funny. King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. We've got two peas of Nepod, okay? Two like-minded individuals. This could be you and your partner. This could be a business partner, of course, because we've got the Emperor here. Your major arcanas are the Fool and the Emperor card. Let's... Let's talk about these, okay? So the Emperor and the Fool card. I get this feeling that you really want to have a brand new beginning. There was this hesitation of branching out in your life, starting a whole new life for yourself. I feel like maybe there was a part of you that felt that you didn't have your shit together or that you were still trying to uh, find your place in life, whether in your career or in general, if you've been going through healing, self-discovery, you know, spiritual, emotional, personal growth of any kind, especially if you like were going to school or getting educated or putting like, listen, point blank, putting in a shit ton of hours at work, your career, you know, maybe you have a demanding job, career, or you're an entrepreneur because the emperor is definitely entrepreneur vibes. And if you're not an entrepreneur yet, yet, because you have the full card here, this is giving you that green light, my friend. What are you waiting for? Branch out. Do what you need to do. Start that side hustle. Register your business, get your business license, set up that website, take care of your social media stuff, do all the business things because the universe is saying this is a great week for you to branch out. Now, yes, we still are under the influence of the eclipse energy, so you're going to feel much more empowered moving forward. I do feel like there's some stress here and maybe some regrets of uh, personal, Spirit just said, personal responsibilities of the past, okay? Now, that can be uh, poor choices, decisions that were made many years ago that you're still paying for to this day, right? Like what? Like a DUI. Um, like still going through a nasty breakup, divorce, separation, that's got the law involved. You know, being caught up in things that have felt like they have taken forever, okay? Five to 10 years forever, okay? Or something that's, you know, that may have happened uh, five to 10 years ago, basically. But I feel like there is this, feeling where you're feeling very transformed more in your power is the initial energy that I felt from the very beginning because that is your energy that we start off with here king of pentacles but you start with the king of pentacles and you end with the queen of pentacles so clearly whatever you identify as male or female does not matter but this is very grounded, earthbound, wealth, you know, business, CEO, got my shit together. And I, I, it's like not just one bag, but like bag after bag, investments on point, watching your business grow, watching your whole life just unfold. And it feels as though 
you've been waiting for this for a really long time. So those of you that thought this day was never going to happen because of your age, because of responsibilities from the past, because of circumstances that still made you feel like you were tied and bound to a specific person, situation. Maybe you wanted to relocate, but you're just like, no, I got, I got small kids. I got to be here. Or I signed this contract at work and I'm, I'm not allowed to break that contract for like the next few years or speaking of contract could be you know separation divorce finalizing a divorce that's probably been waiting for you to finalize it honestly uh it just feels like anytime you try to attempt to continue to pursue divorce separation making things final there was always something that came up um I'm seeing the energy of like puppeteer, like someone really had a lot of control over your decision making and there was a lot of guilt and resentment and anger involved in that decision making if that resonates with you. But point blank, listen, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, this is you making more money. This is you feeling sound of sound mind and stable. I love that you have the emperor here. It's very much giving in control of your future, in control of your desires. Oh, let's see what card flew out here. Queen of Wands, feeling very empowered, very attractive. You know, things that are looking attractive to you are now aligning with you. I feel like whatever it is that you have been trying to work on to call in, I'm also feeling a lot of like attraction energy. You are attracting a whole new vibe, a whole new tribe to you, new partnerships, collaborations. This is a whole new chapter that's coming in for you. Let's see. Two of Wands, you have options, you have a choice. Oh my gosh, either one is going to be amazing. I am telling you, either choice, either path that you take will still lead to happiness. I freaking love this energy for you. It's it's giving like it's about damn time. I'm sorry, but it is. It just feels like you've been waiting for far too long for this energy to finally come through for you to align with it. Uh, I do feel like there was a bit of healing that needed to take place. I feel like you even had to go through some tough times where people literally were watching the world around you crumble and you're just trying to figure out where do I start? How do I pick up? How do I start fresh? How do I start anew? The Emperor, the Fool, the Sun are now your major arcanas here. The fact that you have the King and Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you can have that in your chart. You can also, you know, be involved or interested in someone of uh, the same element. Uh, I feel like if that's the case, definitely here, what I just got really quickly was you're finally looking, I mean, look at how the King of Pentacles is looking out into the sky to the future. It's like you're finally feeling hopeful and optimistic that after everything you've had to do to work to where you are today to take back control of your life that maybe you've made some mistakes along the road along your path but you've asked for forgiveness you've forgiven yourself you've done what you needed to do you decided you're no longer going to live in sadness and remorse and regret crying over you know shoulda coulda wouldas that's no longer going to resonate with you because you are feeling very fired up ready to start anew ready to wipe that slate clean ready to just start a new chapter right still feeling in your energy because queen of queen of pentacles is virgo energy to me and king of pentacles is capricorn energy to me but they are both very grounded very successful nurturing practical i love all the green and yellow i see here it's definitely giving me emerald vibes emerald and jade so if you're into crystals and crystal work or crystal healing i feel like that's going to call to you at this time you're very much in your power feeling fired up ready to start something new you know you have more than one option more than one road to take you're at a crossroads you're not quite sure spirit is saying don't overthink it because regardless of where you end up it is going to be a very happy ending result okay so let's pull 
Let's pull a Wisdom of the Oracle to close this out. And remember, guys, I would love it if you gave this a thumbs up for your support. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Double tap that bell to get notified of all the readings, especially now that I'm doing the weeklies again. And follow me over on Instagram. So you have the card of higher power, card number four. Okay, so this is definitely unlocking that higher power co-creating with your higher self being more in tune and in alignment with the wisdom whether it is from past lives i'm hearing ancestral you're learning something new about yourself that's for sure it's coming to you in meditation or in dreams i'm i'm just i'm hearing you think you're tapping in <laughs> um they're tapping into you and that's how you tap in. It, it just feels like two people coming together, like two, two energies coming together. You here in the 3D and the spiritual realm. And I definitely feel like at this time, you've unlocked some very key information and wisdom where it, it really empowers you to feel like you can't fail. You've reached a level within yourself, like you've already outdone yourself from the last time you thought you did a good thing, you were successful, you were, you know, it's like we never truly stop once we cross the initial finish line, right? We continue to up level, upgrade, elevate, move on to the next chapter, move on to the next big phase, graduate into the next era of our lives. And I feel like with this card here, you're definitely tapping into that wisdom. Akashic records, past life energy, that's going to serve you well as well because your soul, your body, your energetic being, it knows your most highest gifts, skills, abilities from past lives. We don't want to bring the bullshit with us into this life, but we can use it to our advantage to tap into what were we amazing, successful, good at in past lives? What were we known for? Does that resonate with us now? Have we always had a curiosity about that? Is that something that, that you would be willing to work with to really truly tap in because you'd be surprised where it can guide you. But I definitely feel like at this time you've got higher power guiding you, elevating you, and moving you into the next best chapter of your life. A lot of happiness, a lot of groundedness, success, good vibes definitely all around. And I'm sending you guys so much love. Have a great week and I will see you in your next week's reading. Take care. Bye.